Welcome back to Autism Live. I'm really excited because back in the studio with us is Krissa Saad. I was saying it both ways, but that now I think we got, got the right. right. Uh, and, and she is an LMFT, a mm -hmm. licensed marriage and family therapist, but she is the director of mental health services. I just like want to stop and go like, yay, at the <laughs> at Family Center, right? I think we should all collectively go, yay, um, because this has been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. This has been in the works for a while, and you guys have been providing some services, but now you have a center, mm -hmm. you have a home, yes. and you've got a whole new thing that you're starting there. Yes that is, uh, has been the brainchild in the works for so very long, but now now you're here. Yes. So where is yes. here? <laughs> and here is Reseda, California. Yeah. Um, and you know, you're absolutely right. This has been in the works for the past year and a half, but it was really the vision of Matt and Nava Asner. Um, and they saw such a tremendous need out there for so many enrichment programs. Uh, they call themselves a one-stop shop center. Yeah. So they have a lot of fun stuff going on. Right now we have Camp Ed. Um, and we had a different home last year where we debuted. And we did a few services, but now we have our forever home. We're very excited. We're up and running. And we have so many wonderful things planned. Yeah. Uh, so they pretty much, in terms of mental health, uh, Matt and Nava have a couple children on the spectrum and they call themselves the Brady Bunch of Autism. Um, they were trying to find services in terms of mental health with experienced people, yeah. uh, people that knew what it was like to be a parent or um, understood what parents go through, understand what siblings go through, um, and, and what individuals go through. And it was really hard to find licensed clinicians. There are very few of us out there. Yeah. Um, and so, even when, can I just interject that even when you find licensed clinicians, their experience with what an autism family goes through is often limited. Mm -hmm. I've said before on the show that when, uh, when we started an intervention after my son was diagnosed and, and I needed some help, mm -hmm. I, like things were going south for mm -hmm. me and they were going south for my husband and I, right. and we went to somebody and she listened to what we, and she was like, well, it sounds like your autism intervention is the thing that's stressful. You should stop that. Mm. Oh and, and that was the one and only appointment that we went to because I went, thank you. You have no idea what you're talking mm -hmm. about and didn't go anymore. But now you know, in this holistic approach that you guys have mm -hmm. where the kids come in and are doing something that's enriching for them, mm -hmm. that's fun for them, but that there are things for the parents yes. and the siblings to do as well that are about mental. I got right. a notice this morning telling me that you guys had a, a, a meditation happening today. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and I, oh, did I miss it? Because uh, I love that. Uh, I, it's, no, it's like today at 2. Oh, okay, great. I can't wait to go. And... <laughs> so there's all these. So it's it's not just one thing. It's all of these different yes. things. As you said, a one-stop shop. So that um, family coming in has mm -hmm. so many things. But, the, mm -hmm. but other people have tried to do other things, but they've left the mental health component Correct. out. Yes. And, and that's the thing that you're filling in. And you're absolutely right. You want to make sure you have a good match. Yeah. That you feel really uh, safe and, and trusting of whoever you're working with. Um, and so uh, one, one of the things that we've, part, we've partnered with mm -hmm. CSUN, mm -hmm. and um, this is the first collaboration and that, that they've had in terms of mental health. So they're training um, five to eight different clinicians. They're giving education and training awareness. And these I've met these, uh, these therapists, they have a background, and under some, one of the therapists is a mom with a child on the spectrum, awesome. and she's pursuing her uh, license in psychotherapy. Wow. And so others, um, one woman came from regional center. Wow. She just wanted to work in a different way yeah. and provide help in another way. Um, so we really have uh, these wonderful people. They're, gonna, they're providing one-on-one -on -one therapy uh, for individuals, families, couples. Uh, one of our clinicians just wants couples. She's okay. like super enthusiastic about it, wants just couples. And so they're also under the supervision of Sarita Friedman. She uh, has 20 plus years experience. Yeah. Brilliant. Um, yeah. Brilliant. Wonderful woman, uh, clinician. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, Deborah is also the clinical director at, uh, that's overseeing everything, uh, our collaboration. And so we have availability. Uh, these clinicians are ready to go. Um, we just 
We just opened, I think, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. You were at the open house. It's wonderful. The place, the, the facility is gorgeous, first of all. Yes. It's just so beautiful. It's a dream. And, but it's more than that. There's a feeling there. Mm -hmm. You know how sometimes you go into a place and you, I see, I'm going to get emotional, but there is a feeling there. There's a mm -hmm. feeling like walking into a place where you're being held yes is what it feels like yes and and that nava wanted a very comfy yeah. environment very inclusive for everybody yeah. the other last week we had um a barbecue and a movie we had sensory friendly furniture we had mats we had the love sacks we had chairs we yeah. had it all for we're mindful of of, of that and what the needs are yeah. so um you know and then next door is more of a quiet space yes. um it's another uh we have this just wonderful space and so um the team is so i, I feel so honored to be a part of these amazing compassionate people <laughs> <laughs> i'm emotional <laughs> i'm having to mop down because it's just I, it's just so it's a wonderful thing and it's a wonderful thing that it's come to fruition mm -hmm. and that your component mm -hmm. is at the core of it because Everything else is a little bit like putting wallpaper up, wallpaper up over crumbling walls, right? Yes. There, if you don't, that. if you leave that piece out, mm -hmm. you're just slapping a band-aid mm -hmm. on it. So I love that families. It's here in in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. in uh, in the Valley. Uh, so families here can get this. But I hope that you guys are going to have a roadmap for other places to show that's how a, important that's this part is. of the vision. Yeah. And, and so so. Uh, one of the things that I would like to talk about too is all of the groups that are starting in September. Yes, let's talk about that. So, um, and and you talked about the feel of of the yeah. of the our home, and um, Aviva is the daughter of Matt and Nava, yeah. and she's our art director, and she's responsible for all the art. She is an amazing artist. Yeah. She can just whip something up like oh, Nava. I mean, Aviva, can I have some ocean theme in my room? <laughs> And this is what you're going to find when you come to the therapy yeah. room. We're going to have this ocean room. We have Carl the fish. Um, he's <laughs> one of the it. little, he's a, thera a, a, a therapy fish. fish. <laughs> I love it. So uh, um, she and I are running a sibling group. We're trying to approach it from a different perspective. Okay. Um, we're going to have a different theme each week for siblings. Uh, in the, it, we're approaching it from an art perspective. Um, discussing Hi, thoughts everyone. and feelings through uh, crafts and Wonderful. expression of art. So they'll create something based on whatever the topic is. It's maybe um, what makes you angry or what, what gets you happy? What's your happy place? Can yeah. you talk uh, create that in an art form? And then let's talk about it. So it'll be in the last part of the uh, class where we'll talk about it. And hopefully hearing other siblings' yeah. experience will be healing and helpful. Absolutely. So we have that going on. Um, we also have uh, a dad's group that yeah. Matt is going to facilitate. And it's a poker night. I was going to say, I heard they're going to play poker. Yes, they're playing uh, poker. I think that's in two weeks. OK, I got to get my husband signed up. For yes. That. It, so it's a it's a guy's night. Yeah. Um, so Matt, you know, uh, is he's he's wonderful in listening and getting people's vibe and hearing, you know, so from this kind of environment, he's going to be running a poker therapy group. <laughs> but they don't want to talk. They don't want to use the word therapy. Right. A lot of people have a really a reaction to that word, yeah. including people on the spectrum. They're like, no more therapy. I don't want to go to another right. therapy thing. Right. Uh, so we're going to be creative with uh, what we're doing. Yeah. Um, let's see. We also have uh, we have uh, sex education and social media for young uh, adults, women, uh, and uh, older age teen girls. Yes. And that's going to be run by a parent and myself, Jill Centerheart, Spencer's mom. We all know my Spencer. My love. Oh, my goodness. So this was her creation. Um, yeah. She saw a need out there for sex education and social media awareness. We hope to get one up and running soon with yeah. uh, for, for guys. Um, we'll have to put that together. But right now we have this one starting. It's and wonderful. we're open and ready for sign What's ups. the age range on that? Do they have to be 18? Um, yes. OK. Yes. And okay. Spencer just, I think she just turned 21. I believe on Sunday or Saturday or Sunday was her you birthday. Know, um, yeah, she just I think she just turned 21. So Jill's been through a lot and has yeah. a wealth of experience to bring to this group. Yeah. Um, and so it's going to be really helpful. We also have a mom's group that Nava and I are going to facilitate. 
Um, she wants to do mindful practice, meditation, yoga, different approaches yeah. for moms and yeah. coping skills. Yes. And then we have uh, right now one more wonderful group uh, that's going to be starting, very necessary and needed. Um, it's the Gay Straight Alliance, our LGBTQ group, mm -hmm. and um, a very big need for this group. Yeah. Um, so Amy has a vision for this group. She, uh, she also works at the center. She calls herself Neurodivergent Individual. Mm -hmm. And um, she also is an educator and activist. So she feels very strongly about, um, she's very compassionate about this group. And yeah. uh, Amy, Liv, and myself are going to be uh, running this particular group and wow. facilitating it. So those are our fantastic groups. And uh, all starting open, in the fall. All starting uh, actually um, mid-September. OK. We're getting all of these, uh, you know, taking phone calls now, assessments. Okay. Um, not necessarily assessments, but more of like, um, you know, uh, I'm doing right. the intakes. Yeah. yeah. Which group might be a good fit? Yeah. What do you need? Okay, and so uh, where do people have to call or go to be able to start that conversation? Let's okay. start there. So we have the Ed Asner Family Center website, www.edasnerfamilycenter.org. Okay. okay. <clears throat> we also, our uh, phone line is 818-302-0712. And also, um, or they can contact me for mental health. Okay. At Krista at Ed Asner Family Center dot org. Okay. Um, and or you know, uh, Nava and Matt, anybody really, we're all geared to really helping to fit where uh, find what each person might need. Yeah. Maybe they're looking for a different group or a um, enrichment. Yes. Uh, so. There's something for everyone there. Let's That's, say that. Yes. You might just start the conversation by calling and saying, I heard about this. I want to come uh, in and see. I, I, want to, I want to come look at it. I'm not sure where we fit in, but mm -hmm. I'm told that everybody, there's a place for everybody, yes. and there is. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Let's talk a little bit about, does this go through their insurance? How does this work in terms of the person? Because you know, mm -hmm. people want to know what's it going to cost yes. me. And so uh, we are so new. We're in the process, unfortunately, it takes forever yeah. to become a Medi-Cal provider. Yeah. So uh, that hopefully uh, we're going to have going, you know, it takes probably in the next uh, four or five months. The application is just like a whole foreign language to me, and it's really difficult, but we're hoping to do that. Yeah. We also, um, right now, we're sliding scale. Okay. We will work with individuals based on uh, what they're uh, avail what they have available to them financially. Okay. Um, private pay, and also, you know, we're really uh, going to look into grants for underwriting a lot of our mental yeah. health. So for right now, it's sliding scale. And um, once uh, I'm also getting us on a, a lot of the insurance panels. There we go. Kaiser. Uh, yeah. Beacon, Blue Shield, a lot of people have Blue Shield. Yeah. And also, you know, our services are f not just this for the special need yeah. person, but grandparents, caregivers, um, uh, you know, a lot of anxiety and depression comes along with uh, this diagnosis. <gasps> Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, need to tell you. Yeah. Uh, well, no, but I mean, it needs to be said because sometimes it doesn't get said and, and people sit and think, oh, it's just me. I'm the mm -hmm. only person who can't mm -hmm. handle this. And we all need to just fess up and be honest mm -hmm. that I don't know... I mean, I'm searching my memory banks, but I, I don't know an autism mom that I know really well that hasn't experienced a tremendous amount mm -hmm. of anxiety. Right. And it, and it doesn't follow the same path for everybody. Some people feel tremendous anxiety when they're in the middle of their, like the minute their kid gets diagnosed with autism, other people feel it later on mm -hmm. and it can just show up. Well, at different life stages. Yes. So, and initially you're maybe perhaps panicked, uh, trying to whip into gear to get all the services in place. Uh. You don't have time for yourself. You don't have time for your other children perhaps, or you just, kind of try to navigate the whole system. And then later on, you know, uh, as a, a child becomes a teenager, there's a whole nother thing Ugh. with teenagers and then the layer of the special needs individual. Yeah. Then dating, then um, college age. Yeah, Sarita, it doesn't end. Sarita well. <laughs> wrote a book about um, 
college on the spectrum. Yes. And um, so she's a wealth of information yeah. for, for that particular topic. Yeah. And Matt and Nava's children are growing uh, older too, so they're fantastic. And uh, uh, how old's your son? My son just turned 16. Okay, so, there you go. You know. You're in the middle of it. Yeah. Yeah, and it and it doesn't end. It just phases into and morphs into new things. But the well, anxiety is a piece of it. Correct. It just is. Even I'm having some experience now. Some of my clients are um, mid twenties, uh, independent living. Yeah. Um, job readiness. Joanne Lara. She's yes. fantastic. She also is a part of the center. Yeah. Life skills. Um, all sorts of things that we can uh, we're going to be able to create and yeah. provide at the center. It's so wonderful. Uh, unfortunately, we're out of time, okay. but I uh, there's so many things to talk about. We'll continue to talk about it, but uh, amazing things going on right now. There's still two weeks left of Camp Ed, and yes. if you've got a, a kiddo that's in anywhere in the Los Angeles area that's at a loose end, please stop what you're doing, call them, and get them signed up to go for the last two weeks, mm -hmm. even if it's just one of the last two weeks. I think one weeks. of the weeks is Surf Week, It too. is the last week. It's is Surf it Week. Okay. So, um, you know, do that. And do stop yourself. by for meditation. Well, I don't know if I can get there today well, at yeah, two, but it's on so my safe. list. It was okay. like, if my schedule is free around then, but... Um, what a wonderful, wonderful thing to have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and, and and there are Saturday classes, Sunday, Sunday classes. Right now there's right Sunday, now. but then uh, the center will be open six days a week. Okay, so Sunday classes, which are fitness classes, and there's a voiceover, voiceover class, and, mm -hmm. and all of these different things. There are uh, ballroom dancing, there's mm -hmm. all these things. So sign up for those. But then in the fall, a whole bunch more new things are happening. Mm -hmm. If you want to get in on the mental health piece, Call, call and talk to them and she said sliding scale mm -hmm. so it's you know what what you can afford to right. pay take advantage of that yes uh and thank you so much thank for you. all thank the you amazing for having work me that again. you're doing thank and you. give my love to everybody over there i, I just will. i'm so excited about what's happening over me there too. it's like the top of my head could fly off around the room <laughs> hey thanks for watching autism live to subscribe click here and if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.